feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it's in Hey everyone, welcome to the post-show wrap-up of the Shrimp Tank Podcast. I'm your host, Rich Jensen, along with my co-host, David Sims, and our special guest today, Jim Carr of Managing Your Message. Each week on the post-show wrap-up, we like to highlight some of the conversations that we've had with some of the brightest and best CEOs and business owners in and around the state of Arkansas. We just finished a great podcast. I'm sure you'll want to listen to all of it at arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com. And also, you're probably already on our YouTube channel if you're listening to this video, but you can actually watch all of our post-show wrap-up videos on the YouTube channel. So, David, it was a really, really good conversation today with Jim. One yes. thing I really liked about that three-legged stool. I yeah, think. exactly, yes. One of the things we asked you, Jim, at the beginning of the podcast, which our listeners, you really should listen to the entire mm -hmm. thing. Jim has all kind of great wisdom about communications as a leader, entrepreneurs, and business owners. But I did, we just jumped right in, and we said, what is this Manage the Message all about? And your answer to that was great. So provide that summary for our listeners here. And, I, um, and watchers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I developed a point of view over time based on experience in helping companies tell their stories, craft their message, training, uh, time as a, a corporate marketing executive and the like. And mm. um, I separate this idea from managing the message from ad campaigns or sales campaigns or the like. This really is about the everyday ways that the people who are in your business or close to your business talk about the business, mm -hmm. if they talk about the business at all. And are and, they saying the same thing? And are they saying the same thing? Right. So when I when I took a look at this or what makes some organizations really effective at this, um, I learned and I found that it's really three pieces, kind of a three-legged stool. So the first part is the message itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you have the stories or do you have the knowledge of the value proposition that, that people would find valuable? Uh, part of it are the messengers themselves. So have you engaged enough people? Do they have the knowledge, skills, and training mm -hmm. that they would have to share that message? And then part of it is the, the management habits themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, so is it intentional? Is it a regular process, uh, the way you work on the communications culture so, so, inside so the business? So it's, it's message, messengers, and message habits? Man man management, management habits. Management okay. habits, yes. So what does it look like if one of those legs is not the same length as the other? Like, how do, I, sure. how do I recognize in my organization and our viewers in their organizations when one of them's off? It's a great question. So what would be the symptoms of, of what's the low-hanging fruit for where you could get better? Uh, if you have a sense that we're saying the same things as, as everybody else in our, in our industry, in our community, uh, if you look at your... Meaning nothing's distinguishing you. Nothing's distinguishing. So your website might talk about your commitment to customers and community and, and your vision and that sort of thing. But it's, if it's much the same as what everyone else is saying, that's probably a weak message mm -hmm. leg. And the, the antidote that I've found for that is storytelling, uh, mm -hmm. for the most part, is getting a, a clear, clarity around that message, mm -hmm. turning it into human stories, things that people I mean, we're really are wired for share. stories. I mean, that's, we are. Yeah. There's nothing like that. You will remember a story. You go to a sermon, you remember a great story. I can't remember a cotton picking thing you, you talked <laughs> yes. about. You know, and thought, when you know. he or she told that story. Yeah, he told that story. story. Man, yes. I remember that forever. You know, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So oftentimes the message is kind of speeds and feeds and yeah. in corporate lingo and technical terms. But if you can mm -hmm. carve it into stories then that, yeah. that tends to make it stronger. Um, there's another symptom that's a little bit different. So sometimes uh, the crickets are chirping. Mm -hmm. You know, you're just not enough growth opportunities. So, so is this under the message or is this under the messenger? Uh, this would be more of a messenger problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, for example, I worked with uh, an HVAC company. So they do heating and, and, and air conditioning. And they had a lot of new products and services that they wanted to sell and kind mm -hmm. of cross-sell their customer base. But what they found, it, they weren't growing as quickly in that as they, as they wanted. And what they found is that their technicians, the ones out in the field, who were having, we found, two-thirds of the customer conversations wow. didn't know about this other stuff. Wow. Um, so and they, so, were, they, were, they were dropping the ball on the message. And it wasn't their fault. Right. It just They exactly. were doing their job yeah. exactly as they want. They're expert in what they're doing. Right. They needed to be enlisted in a very intentional way about how they could help carry that message mm -hmm. into more customer conversations. And then um, the, the final part, and I hear this a lot from CEOs and team leaders, uh, 
who generally hate inconsistency. Mm. And they'll go, Jim, you know, around here, everyone rolls their own. You know, if you, they, they tell their <laughs> own the stories. That's the thing we about on the podcast about the cowboy effect. Cow is the cowboy bunch of cowboys mentality. out there doing their own you know, thing, man. It's, it's, yeah, you know. My, Yeehaw! Uh, exactly. <laughs> and, and, He's been wanting to do that for the last <laughs> yeah, 20 right. podcasts. I couldn't wait to do that well. Oh, yeah. He's missing the hat. Uh, that's the Just knocked thing. our producer's volume through the <laughs> spike <laughs> through the roof. Uh, so <laughs> That's all right. That'll wake him up. <laughs> But if there's some of that cowboy or cowgirl mentality, in other words, right. people are telling their own story and there's mm. no some consistency, that's more of a management piece. Yeah. Just the habits of the everyday of, of mm. how do you remind people, how do you keep the right stories, the right things on uh, top of mind? Uh, not that you're going to lay out a script. You, you don't do that. That's too much on the other side. But just bringing in some intentionality yeah. behind it, that's really that good. will build consistency, and that's really a way to scale your business. That's really good stuff. Well, um, are you really need to, to visit the podcast and listen to the entire thing. There's a lot of great stuff out there. I'm, I subscribe to Jim's newsletter and read it regularly. It's immensely helpful. It helps us in our, our business. And, um, but so Jim, if somebody wanted to engage you, like we wanted to engage you or somebody wanted to engage you, what's that process look like? What's the best way to get a hold of you? Easiest way is through my website, jimcar.com. And my crazy spelling on that is J I M K A R R H. Dot com. Nobody you spells Jim like that, do they? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, email is uh, jim at jimcar.com, and uh, I would invite anyone that uh, would like some just brief practical tips every week coming into your inbox. Um, I call it the message manager memo, free mm -hmm. weekly newsletter, and uh, I never... I'm not, not selling your information, and I'm, no. not, I'm not badgering you to buy anything else from right, me, but right. uh, just things that I think uh, would be helpful to people, whether they're an individual uh, entrepreneur or they're managing a big team or a big organization. Well, you just watched the post-show wrap-up video of our time with Jim Carr of Managing Your Message. If you want to catch the entire podcast, go to arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com. You can subscribe there and download on iTunes, and obviously you can watch these videos. Next week, we're going to have another special guest, of the mirrors of the ketamine clinic. It is ketamine or yep. ketamine? Uh, ketamine, I think. Okay. Brian and Leilani mirrors. You won't want to miss it. They're yeah, amazing Fascinating people. stuff they're doing. Until then, be safe. And remember, to become a shark, we all start out as shrimp. <laughs> <laughs>